Hey guys, Caneborn back with Conan Exiles. Today I have something that is a little bit bizarre. It's not really an exploit, it's not uh, really like a secret building location or a tip or a trick, anything that I normally do. But I wanted to kind of figure out, because I got a question posed to me quite a bit, as to whether or not the new dungeon, the Dregs, was instanced. And clearly, when you do the sacrifice and the dungeon opens up, uh, you go down to the bottom and you are teleported to some place. And I wanted to know if there was anywhere on the physical map that you could find this dungeon and if it were in fact instanced. So I started to explore the map quite a bit and I found something rather bizarre. I'm going to show you where I am on the map right now. So as you can see, I'm at the very bottom about to kind of go off the edge. And this is if you're kind of following the mountain along the left side here so normally that would go back into normal inbound territory you're going to start following this the opposite way and follow the perimeter of the wall and yes i do have a special run mode on which people get often confused about in my videos and say how are you running so fast so i noticed off in the distance that there is a building of some sort up there which is kind of strange i'm now off the map next to the newbie area but i can see a building so I wanted to investigate that and find out just what the heck that was. If you're in ghost mode, you can actually penetrate the green wall. I'm actually working currently on a video that shows another way to uh, penetrate the green wall with sort of a bug, but I have to do a little bit more testing with that. But anyway, for the sake of this video, we're just going to ghost right through and we're going to go take a look at what in God's name this building is up here. I think you can already guess. I find it really strange that, um, you know, rather than just having this instance somewhere not really exist, that they're teleporting you to a physical location on the map beyond the green wall. I wonder if there's going to be perhaps another way to access this dungeon coming up. And I'll show you why I have that theory in just a moment. All right, so I'm back, and I am essentially right up against this strange black obelisk. So... We may as well venture in and discover what in God's name this is, right? We're probably going to be wiped from existence. But I like exploring and figuring stuff out. So as you go in, it starts to look somewhat familiar. If you've ever been inside the dungeon and sort of uh, looked around for secrets as I have, this clearly looks like the little tower that eventually leads down and shows uh, and leads to the boss. So it's... Uh, go inside the wall and find out. So here's a strange little hole which you can go through and now you're sort of in this top area. As you go down a little bit further you will notice. Now here's the interesting thing. This is actually a viable area to move around in and in fact it seems to be sort of like an almost new surface that makes sort of a metallic noise as you walk around on it which is very interesting. And then as you look down here, you can see that that is the boss. That is the new boss of the dregs. We're going to go back into ghost mode to go down a little bit more, but you'll notice something else interesting. This is all fully edited in, and you're able to kind of come down. And when you get down to about this point, you can actually, there's stairs with torches and everything, as though you're meant to be up here. So it's very strange, maybe there's going to be another way, like sort of a shortcut or another entrance, entrance plan um, where you can actually come in from above and uh, see the boss here. So we're going to, at this point, just jump down and hopefully not die. And yeah, now you're inside the drags coming from a completely different direction. So not the most probably useful thing that I've ever shown you guys, but I just find it to be very, very strange. Um, that you can enter in alternate versions of the dungeons from different directions. And that's another thing, too, I noticed. There are more than one uh, boss iteration, I guess would be the best way to say it. Um, if you sort of go through here, you can see the rest of the dungeon, but interestingly enough, right next to this version of the boss, there is another boss right over here when you go around the corner so that's very strange as well that there are two versions of the boss so I wonder what exactly they have in mind or what they're doing or 
Are there supposed to be multiple versions of the boss? Are people just teleporting to random places on the map where this dungeon is created? Very weird, uh, the way they have this game set up, but we've never really had an opportunity to have admin mode in these types of games, so I wonder if there's just multiple versions of this all over the map out of bounds, but the other possibility is that we are going to be able to visit this dungeon coming from above, which would be very cool. It would create unique situations where one group has come in the normal entrance and one the other way, but I'm assuming that it's far from finished at this point. So, anyways guys, I found that kind of interesting. Um, not a lot going on in the world of Conan Exiles right now, so trying to find content uh, to make a video out of at this point. Don't really have time for the gameplay. No bugs uh, of note that are finished through the testing phase right now. And of course, we haven't had any new brand new content updates. But thank you guys for sticking around, checking out the channel. I hope you found that to be interesting. Um, and I will catch you guys very soon if I am able to successfully complete that uh, wall penetration bug that I'm working on right now. Hey guys, as a quick footnote, if you've stuck around to the end of the video, if there is anything that you would like to see me do a video of in the game, now would be the best time to let me know because I've got a little extra free time this week uh, due to spring break. So please let me know if there's something you want me to test, if there's something that you think would be interesting for me to explore, anything that you want me to highlight, whether it be some sort of a bug or combat mechanic or you need to see the stats on anything. Let me know. I would love to make a video for you guys as I always do. So thank you so much for watching.